Hello, this is Matthias, and here is a video that is actually long overdue. It's about uh, killing pilots who fly as light salt after they bail. Uh, I've made a couple of videos about this subject before. One of them was made very recently, and that the very last one was about uh, some of the kills and vehicle kills that I have been able to get after I bail out using C4 or just a carbine for killing infantry or one of the ESFs that I was fighting just before I bailed. Now in some parts of the video, like in this clip for example, I will add a little bit of context so you can see what happened before and sometimes even after the uh, kill on that particular light assault to just bail out of his ESF. But for the most part of this video I'm going to focus only on killing the uh, pilot after the bail. And it can be sometimes very tricky. Sometimes it's really hard actually to hit them. Sometimes it's not. It uh, kind of depends on the angle, uh, the speed you have, and uh, the situation surrounding it. The thing that I found to be one of the hardest situations is when you shoot them from directly above. This is of course also the most risky situation since uh, most uh, light assault nowadays have C4. I've been able to kill a few ESFs uh, using C4 in mid-air and I've also been killed once or twice uh, that way myself. I killed Shilulu when she bailed. Who is Shilulu? I don't know. But I killed her. <laughs> Yeah, I recently learned also that Shilulu is not a she at all, it's a he, it's an old from uh, Woodman I think. Very confusing name for a guy to choose I, I have to say, but yeah. So now the nose gun that I found to be the hardest one to use in uh, terms of killing light assaults in mid-air is uh, the Locust. I, it has different names for the other two factions, both of the two others called the Locust. Uh, with the Kneeler and uh, the Mustang and the uh, Saron, it's about the same. Uh, maybe a little bit trickier with the Reaver, uh, and uh, of course it's easier with uh, the dedicated air-to-air -air nose guns, the rotaries and the hailstorm. I'm it? sure it's also easier with the air hammer and light PPA, and of course also the Banshee. Yes, and for that I'm going to kiss you. <laughs> so now, killing a pilot that has bailed out as light assault is actually rather satisfying. It's one of those frags you really like to get. So is of course also every kill that you get if after you bail out as a light assault yourself. Uh, especially if you can get a C4 kill on a vehicle, but... Uh, any infantry fight that I find myself in after I bail out is just a nice bonus to the air gameplay. At the same time, this is also still very, very controversial. There's a lot of players who dislike uh, the fact that you can do this. And there's been a lot of discussions about it. And uh, the thing of it is with uh, all the games is that uh, there are many times people that always brings up um, real life situations and uh, reality in their arguments when it comes to games. And normally I'm against this, I think that uh, it's important to separate the reality with games. But one of the things that I actually think uh, makes rather se a lot of sense is that if your vehicle is going down and you're about to die, if you stay in it, you get out. Because you are not uh, useless once you get out and uh, it's part of the game to make it as hard for your opponents to kill you just as much as you want to kill as many of them as you can. Another thing that uh, probably not a lot of people have put a lot of thought into, but it's um, the thing about Planetside 2 is that most weapons in Planetside 2 are supposed to be specialization weapons. There are very few weapons that are designed to be all round, and that goes also for the uh, nose guns of the ESFs. The nose guns are either designed to kill other aircrafts or they are designed to kill infantry, and that's it. I think the only exception is the air hammer. I mean, you can deal the damage to uh, vehicles with the nose guns also, but the damage is very limited. And as I'm showing in this video, the nose guns can be very effectively used against infantry. You just have to have a very precise aim to do so, and th this makes it very hard in many situations, even for experienced players. Sometimes it's actually easier to just do this. Now, when it comes to some of these emotions and reactions that uh, sometimes can be very, very strong in games, it's not only about the situations as you see in this video, but just in general as well. But uh, 
Any discussions about the air gameplay in general is always very infected. It's been, it's not only in Planetside 2, it's been in the Battlefield games as well and uh, some other games that I've played, but uh, in Planetside it's always very very strong opinions involved whenever a discussion is about the air gameplay. I don't know what uh, reactions to expect from this video, but in my last video uh, I got a lot of uh, negative feedback from people who thought that it was really lame uh, bailing out this way of uh, me and I should have just given away the kill to whoever was shooting me down. There's also this repeated confusion about what I've said in the past. I've been very much against the possibility to be able to bail out, log off and deconstruct and therefore denying any XP done by somebody taking out an enemy aircraft. And uh, th there are those players who would say that what you see in this video and uh, my other light assault videos is just the same. And uh, yeah, it, it gets a bit problematic to keep a constructive discussion with players that uh, can't really see the difference. So now when it comes to flying as light assault, I have, uh, this is my fifth video now. None of them are uh, meant for a discussion or in order to prove a point in any discussion or anything like that. Even though I am, of course, uh, welcoming all discussions around it. It's, it's always fun, it's always interesting to hear what people have to say about these things. But uh, I've made my opinion clear. I don't see any problem with these guys bailing out, even though they do it only for the sake of uh, saving their lives and yeah, saving their KD. It forces me to spend more time and more bullets in order to kill them, which uh, the time and uh, ammo that I could have used killing other things, for example. While doing this I am of course also a very easy target if there would have been any allies to the bailing light assault that I just killed. I also want to point this out, and uh, I want to be clear about this. This video is not in any way meant as a taunt to any one of these pilots that I'm able to kill in this video. Most of these pilots have killed me just the same way you give and you take. That's just how it is. So now, with most of my videos, even though this one, like I said, is not meant for any discussion, you are, of course, welcome to discuss it however much you like. You may say things that I agree with, you may say things that I disagree with, and in some rare occasions I also find one or two hypocrites uh, coming here flaming me. So, uh, yeah, that's how it is. But uh, anyway, that's gonna be all for the post-commenting of this video, so thank you all for watching, and bye for now. Bag twister. Excellent. Did he bail or did you kill him? Oh crap, he tried to see for me. He's not on me. Nice. Yeah, he was close there. I thought you actually got me then, I was a bit, a bit worried. Yeah, I'll Let's take that galaxy down. How's your armor, guys? Quickly switch down to deck. You wouldn't by Thank chance you. be interested in going on the set server Demo, and then we can kill them. Oh, Tower C. Oh, I want to kill him. He bailed. He's dead. Tango, I'm tired. Nice. Oh, nice. Ah, damn. Is it you? Oh, such close. But, oh yeah. Look at that kill steal. Lightning? Betty. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Hunter will be back soon. Yeah. Oh, I have some. Yeah, nice guys. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. They all dead? Yeah. Okay, yeah, those Kugli pages yes. has concentrated fire those uh, Sunnies and uh, Vanguards on that Yeah, place. um, who need, yeah. Kill them. Let's take... This clump of infantry is distracting my aim. Oh, no! Now let's wait until some TRs are there again. 
He can just fly above it then. Do a separate mag. Yeah. Well, he can still be with us though. Well, he won't be helpful. That's not okay. This is what they do all the time. Yeah, it feels so bad. I I don't see how this is fun in any way, so... Go for it, <laughs> Don't get too excited yeah. Watch where you are going. <laughs> This is now awesome, we are totally trusting them, even though they have like three times the numbers. <laughs>